cutie. What's good, guys? It's girl fast. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. We back, Young Famous in African season two, episode two. Let's talk about it because we have a whole lot to get through. Fantana, Fantana, Fantana. We need to talk about Fantana real quick. Um, babes, <laughs> what's going on? What's happening? Ciao. Let's just get into it. So Fantana is the new face, one of the new casts, the new member of the group. And obviously she's been brought in by DJ Naked and she's been introduced to Diamond Platinum. And it's funny because as soon as she came into the party, the first thing that Diamond said, he basically was complimenting her body. So you already know that Diamond was on, listen, I just want to smash. Diamond and Fantana, that whole storyline right there, I'm going to be really honest, is giving love and hip hop vibes. Typical love and hip hop vibes. DJ Naked introduces Fantana to Diamond, the rest of the group. You know, Diamond and Fantana end up having a studio session. He out here talking about, you know, your body is sexy, your body is sexy, you know, sexy body diamonds, all of this. Flirting up with her, talking about squirting. And I was like, is that what they talk about in the studio? But then again, you know, his dynamic with Zushi is a bit weird, so I'm not gonna, I'm not surprised. Um, but it's just like, oh, it was, oh, he... I don't know what's the fascination with Diamond. I don't know what it is. And that's why I say that these women just want Diamond for his money because I, I just don't get it. But anyways, let's get into it. Yeah, they're having a studio session and it just got really weird yeah they did talk a little bit about the music but a lot of it has to do with diamond like just pushing up on her and trying to f basically flirt with her fantana's feeling diamond diamond's feeling fantana um we see on episode three they end up going on a date at his house diamond platinum invites fantana on a date at his house diamond couldn't do better than that but he knows he wasn't on he was he wasn't on that he wasn't, he wasn't on that. He just wanted to smash. And you know what's funny? Swanky told Fantana, like, listen, be careful. This man does not want you like that. He wants to just smash, okay? And I remember when Fantana updates Swanky about her studio session with Diamond Platinum. <laughs> Fantana was like, you know, he's my G. That's my friend. He's my G. And Swanky was like, hey, he is not your G. He's not your G. He just wants to smash. Listen, don't come to me. Don't come crying to me when you're heartbroken, you know, like, girl, you know what you're getting yourself into. But I just don't understand. Like, the thing is with Fantana, yeah, she's 25 years old. So I guess she's kind of young. But at the same time, did you not do your research? on diamond's relationship and his dating history like what makes you think that he's going to treat you any different love this song this single that you guys are working on in the studio is not going to come out it's giving typical love and hip-hop vibes because my whole thing is so all this time when he was like kissing up zushu on the gram and he was spending time with you like would you would you be okay with that like and what's up with diamond just getting with his female artist like oh but anyways but yeah they have their date and it's funny i know i'm moving from episode two to episode three but anyways we might as well talk about it in it so yeah fantana and diamond platinum have their day they get all cozy diamond doesn't even speak much all he says is like allow me to kiss your beautiful lips and he gives her that look and she's just like oh babes diamond and i'm just like oh my god she's like getting all giddy and then she just kisses him and babes that smooch honey she she was eating diamond she didn't kiss him she was eating him like he ended up smashing her are you guys here for diamond and fantana what do you guys make of fantana fantana did mention apparently that she is the biggest dancehall musician from ghana guys let me know your thoughts because as far as i'm concerned spice is the biggest dancehall artist not from Ghana, but she's this big... I don't know, no Fantana music. So let me know. Is she big out here in Ghana? Because I don't I don't know, not one music. I heard a few... I heard like a, a cover that she did, but I didn't know she was that big. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe I'll check her out. Real quick. So when Bonang walks in, there's just a 
cold tension, a cold vibe. You know, the girls, the new faces, they're not really getting a warm welcome, um, especially Bonang, um, which is very interesting, but we're going to talk about it later on. Anyways, going back to episode two, Lewis. Listen, Lewis is fine. He is fine. Yes, he's corny. Yes, he does a bit too much. But he is fine. Lewis is hot. Okay. But we get an introduction to Lewis. We get an introduction to Fantana. We finally get an introduction to Bonang. All of these new faces. But so far, I'm feeling a bit of Lewis. Uh, because he's fine. And he's so soft. And he's very emotional. But I like that in a man. I like when a man shows his vulnerability. Um... But yeah, what do you guys make of the new faces? Annie. Baby, Annie, 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 Annie. Annie Idibia, babe. So Annie Idibia, basically... So Annie Idibia, her storyline for this season, we have this whole allegation of her husband, Innocent Two Baba, apparently impregnating a personal banker, woman outside of wedlock and literally she's out here trying to set the record straight she went on Andile's podcast to basically talk about it and set the record straight that it's not true it's fake and apparently you know her and innocent were just laughing about it because it's all fake and people need to stop spreading rumors and but my whole thing is you are in the spotlight and you know what comes with being in the spotlight and your relationship is out here publicly and you expect people to not comment on it which is very weird to me if you don't want people to talk about your relationship don't put your relationship out there so yeah that was it and then what's so funny and what was so interesting during the dinner table with her innocent and Dile, nadia um dia naked and kaylee it was just very interesting to me because Two Baba was out here talking all that mess with so much confidence. He was talking all that mess from his chest, with so much chest, honey. And the things that he was coming out with, the controversial comments that he was coming out with, I'm just like, Annie, what do you expect us to actually think? Like, and you can tell Annie was so embarrassed because she walked out of the table. Like, and then it's so funny because here's and Dila trying to make excuses for to Baba and then trying to blame Nadia and Nadia's like why are you blaming me like he's the one that's saying all these things I'm just we're just here listening like that's the one thing I will say for Nadia like she didn't do nothing we we're out here listening and he's out here talking about you know but he didn't mean it like that he was just saying that just other men believe that and it's like no this guy is not saying that he's actually speaking up from himself but what do you guys make of this what do you guys make of annie and to baba like oh it's just oh it's just crazy it's crazy it's crazy and i want to talk about this real quick so kanye has a champagne party right and this whole champagne party, she wants to bring everybody together and basically express how they feel and basically talk about their issues and the way she went about things. This this was also another thing to introduce Lewis to the group. But Lewis missed his cue and then he didn't even get to do his introduction properly because of all the nonsense and the chaotic energy that was happening. And then the way that Kanye went about things, which doesn't surprise me because we all know Kanye is a snake and she's a flip-flopper. I'm sorry, she is. She, one minute she's your friend, the next minute she's just flip-flopping around the place. Even though she has taken up for Lewis at a certain extent and she has like stood up to him, I mean stood up for him, but at the same time, she's a flip-flopper. Like, especially if you remember last season, she's a flip-flopper. So, whilst that party that champagne party she's out here trying to say trying to talk to everyone saying that they need to sort it out everything all the dynamics all the falling outs that's happening within the group is affecting the whole group and she's not swearing at everyone and i'm like are you actually for real right now like really like are you actually for real right now she swore at annie she swore at andy lay 
like this whole situation with you and diamond you guys need to squash it the situation with um annie and swanky like it was just crazy and i was like even zari was like what was that about that was everybody was like yeah that was rude and i'm so glad kaylee the way kaylee called out kanye and was like why what there was no need for that that was so rude and she was like i didn't swear at everyone and she was like i'll swear at your friends and i was like yeah but that's rude Kanye thinks that she can just talk to anyone anyhow and people would just accept it. Andile left the party. Everybody just left the party and was like, ugh. It's just a hot mess. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys make of Fanta Fantana and Diamond Platinum? I still can't believe Fantana is actually falling for Diamond's BS. Like, what do you guys make of this video? What do you guys make of this review, the season so far? Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I should see you guys in my next video. Bye.